All right, what up everybody? My name's Andrew. Um, we are in Carlsbad. Um, this kind of just, I'm just driving, cruising along and that's pretty much about it. Go through some mud, go through some water and have some fun and just live a life have some fun but yeah so to start this video off i know it ha hasn't been a minute since i made a video it's been straight roofing content but a lot has been on the dome lately your boy is thinking about getting a brand nuevo raptor Right, what's up everybody name's Andrew welcome back to the channel uh, Drew's views previously known as Drew the roofer um, I'll kind of break it off short real quick uh, was doing roofing content for about seven years a little over seven years uh, got diagnosed with cancer um, beat it remission for a month now so I changed it to Drew's views because I couldn't do nothing so all I filmed was my truck um, and whatever kind of came to mind. But now, there's roofing content coming out, there's truck content coming out, there's fishing content coming out, there's everything. So I just left it as Drew's views because whatever I see or I do, I'm gonna post it. Hope you guys enjoy the videos and tag along, like, subscribe if you enjoy the content. So yeah, let's get into today, to take to today's video. All right, for starters, this is what I want to talk about today. For one, I want to customize my truck. I want to put a ADD bumper. Um, I want to put some chase lights. Uh, I want to put the bumper in the back, bumper in the front from ADD. And yeah, um, I have LP force on my truck right now and I have the Baja Designs Squadron kit down below. And they're both Baja design lights, but that's just what I have on my truck right now. It is, I have a custom exhaust made for it. I got Method rims, um, and then I got BF Goodrich tires, 35 inch tires. Um, so, I mean, the truck's good, but I just want to twist it around, do something cool with it just for that little bit. Um, we're cruising right here by Ken Grody Carlsbad of Ford, Ken Grody Carlsbad. They got a gang of Raptors there. Um, there's a few that I like that I was going to look at purchasing, but the price is somewhat steep. As you know, for Raptors, the price kind of goes up and never goes down, which is a bummer, especially if you live here in California. Yeah, and I could go buy a Raptor somewhere else, um, maybe like Las Vegas, but it's all going to be around the same thing. Um, all these Raptors are kind of customized. Uh, with rims, tires, they're all the 37 packages and then Ken Grody has their custom package called KG Customs. They put a bumper or um, they put the Whipple air intake and stuff like that. Put the bed, the bed liner in there. But yeah, so we'll cruise by here real quick and I'll roll down the window or you can just shoot it through the window so you guys can see the Raptors. But yeah, hope everybody's staying dry out there because I know they said this, this is filmed on a Sunday. Sunday, August 20th, 2023, Hurricane Hillary was supposed to come through here, but it's more like just rain in California. People are still shopping. The outlets are crowded. Like, I mean, people are conducting business as usual. It's nothing, nothing different, to be honest. But yeah, so let's check out these Fords. So here's Ford, Carlsbad, Ken Grody Ford. Um, they look closed to be quite honest, but they're open. Um, we're pulling up on them right now. They got a Raptor R. See that white one right there? They got gray ones and black ones. Yeah, those are all the Raptors. And two right there, one right there. Yeah, they got a gang of trucks. They got even got Roushes and stuff like that. Now, my, in my personal opinion, 
those trucks I think I believe were 113,000 with all the stuff on them. Um, I think they want twelve thousand dollars down. And for for those who don't know, Ford also offers this plan called the Flex Buy, which you finance three years at a lower payment, and then after three years it goes back up to the regular payment. But if you refinance after three years or trade your truck in after three years you either wash out or break even if you put enough down you'll make some money or if you refinance you'll go back down to the same payment but then again you gotta put more money down in order to refinance and these rates today are about I want to say 7% and up now the rate I have on my truck the one I'm driving now is 2.6 and I only put $6,000 down but then again I get rid of my truck every three years so to me it doesn't it doesn't make sense to put a lot down on something when I know I'm gonna get rid of it and I put a lot of miles on this truck anyways because it's my daily I use it for work selling uh, going to the desert going to the mountains like Big Bear Yosemite Sequoias and all that stuff and I use this truck for everything. I only have one truck and that's it. So, you know, it is what it is on that part. But I enjoy it. So a few things that my truck, so a few things that my truck has, or should I say doesn't have, like all these other Raptor, Gen 2 Raptors, to be specific, is mine doesn't have the moon roof. Mine doesn't have the carbon fiber shifter, the carbon fire, or where you shift where it says Prindle and all that stuff and all that knickknack doesn't have heating cooling seats it doesn't have heating steering wheel it doesn't have the blind spot monitoring monitoring it doesn't have the back window or that sliding one that goes back for it's just one piece as you can see um, it has all the auxiliary switches and all that cool stuff that's normal touch screen doesn't have navigation it has Apple CarPlay I mean so that's fine with me gosh dang people don't know how to drive but yeah, truck's awesome. I wouldn't get rid of it um, if I didn't want to. Um, you know, it's a new thing out there. Gen 3 is a new thing. So, I mean, I, I, I love Raptors. I'll never not get another Raptor. I think the only truck I can get from this, I'm a Ford guy, so maybe a, another diesel. Um, before this, I had an F-250 uh, XL, or... XLT F250 FX4 package diesel um, That thing was mint that truck had some nuts It was a six-speed transmission before it switched to the 10-speed which I have now my dad has a 2020 as well um, His is 10-speed. I just think the six-speed is way better at towing in my opinion Because uh, you don't have as many gears so those gears kind of Stay a little bit longer so you get that bottom end power when you're towing the trailer because I use that for work as well So we towed a trailer with it. We would throw tile and all that kind of stuff behind it. So, you know it was Bought for what it was Meant for now my Raptor um, Not so much I do take it off-roading and all that stuff, but I put in a lot more miles than I would want to um, I did buy it used with 20,000 miles, which, you know, it's not bad. Um, but at the same time, I don't think I would ever buy a used vehicle again. Just because of issues, you don't know what you're getting yourself into from the previous owner, what they used it. I'd rather just buy a vehicle where it's like, okay, I'm the first person driving it. And if I get rid of it, that's on them. But I know what I did to it. Um, so, yeah, so some things that have went wrong in my truck... I've had the cam phasers replaced three times, the fan replaced once, the fuel pump replaced once, um, a pipe or a tube for the fuel replaced once, um, some rod was replaced once that was loose, um, and what else? That's, I think that's pretty much about it. Cam phasers, I already kind of explained that. Other than that, I haven't place anything else but I mean this truck has been in the shop quite a bit right now I'm getting um, white slash gray smoke coming out of my exhaust it's randomly 
Um, check engine light comes on sometimes, shuts right back off. To be honest, I use a truck so much, if I leave it to Ford to kind of fix it, it kind of takes a while. So I can't afford to leave my truck there because, you know, I use this for work. I can't go to a, a customer site to sell a roof in a Prius. You know what I mean? I can't. I got to put the ladder behind my truck, get up on the roof and all that good stuff. Like, I got to be professional. Can't show up in that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So with that being said, you know, I also want to get a reliable truck. Um, I do get all my warranties. I get GAP, uh, the maintenance warranty and the premium warranty. Uh, GAP insurance, if you owe, you know, they cover the GAP, what your insurance will cover. Maintenance warranty, it's oil changes, brakes, rotors, filters. Um, what else? Um, and I believe that's it. 75,000 miles free oil changes so if you bust your your uh, filter or start smelling like shit sometimes from the AC you know you got to replace it it's all for free oil changes are for free brakes free rotors for free so all that stuff's for free and then I get the extended mileage warranty which normally you get six year hundred um, for my diesel I got a six year 185 or 190,000 mile warranty on it uh, for the engine, bumper to bumper, just the engine though, there's certain contingencies that come on that warranty so you don't get everything covered. Mainly just the engine, in case it blows out or anything like that from a lot of miles and all that stuff. But for my Raptor, I got the same exact thing, but it's only 125,000 mile warranty for six years. And I've had the truck for almost two, bought it at 20 and I have, so I bought it at with, with 20,000 miles. I have 76,265 now in less than two years, so 50,000 miles, a little, little over 56,000 miles um, in two years, so a little over 25,000 miles a year. Um, but I mean, that's just how much I drive. Uh, being a roofer and selling, and my dad's the owner of the company, um, soon I'll be the owner of it. Certain things you have to do and places you have to go in order to get work, uh, to check on your guys, get material, um, work with special customers. You know, we do have clients that do own a lot of properties that aren't in our jurisdiction or our area where we do work, but we do travel because, you know, we don't want to lose a customer. And, you know, they become part of the A1 Budget Roofing family. Um, so if you ever have any roofing issues and you live in San Diego area, Vista, Escondido, Oceanside, all the way up to kind of towards Irvine area, call 760-707-8644. Get in contact with the office and let's set you up with an appointment to either meet my father, the owner, or myself, Andrew. And the owner's name is Albert. So yeah. Um, but anyways, so... This truck's great. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't trade it. This is my dream truck. Um, I've always wanted a Raptor ever since I set eyes on that Gen 1 v V8. That first V8 Raptor that they came out with. Now that, that's a fucking machine. That's a machine for sure. And then they came out with this Gen 2. And I was astonished. And I was just speechless when this truck came out. Because it's a Raptor. I mean, yeah, they went to V6, but to me, I didn't care. The capabilities of this truck are astonishing. So, of course, I'm going to like it. I'm not not going to like it. Um, but, you know, there's certain things. Like, it does have the leaf springs, unlike the new one. It has the coils. So, I mean, that's it rides night and day just from drive test driving them. Um, it's, it's freaking awesome. Like, Ford did a spectacular job on all the Raptors. I've driven a Gen 1 my gen 2 and a gen 3 one of the customers that we did the roof bought a gen 3 and you know i was asking 50 million questions about it because you know i've always wanted one and uh he took me out on a weekend oh shit that car almost shit went in that car already almost saw. um <clears throat> he took me out one weekend i met him out in ocotillo and we just mobbed it we went to johnson valley uh, hit up Johnson Valley, went to Akatia, went to Blow Sand, 
shell reef, devil slide, kind of just mobbed it through the desert. It was awesome. Um, I got to sit in it and I got to drive in it night and day, night and day. Just being in that truck, you just want to haul ass. Um, and then again, you know, there's also Dodge, which is a TRX. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the TRX. Yeah, it's a V8 and has 702 horsepower, but I don't know. I just don't. You know, I'm just I'm just not a fan of the TRX. Um, I did drive one. I just I don't know. I just can't. I'm just a Ford guy. Um, but yeah, I think the only other truck I would get if it wasn't a Ford would probably be a Chevy. And that's it. But other than that, I, I'm fine with what I have.